for all the doom and gloom around Corona, this cloud of toxicity, of fear, of statism, of irrational behavior that is just a, a, a dark cloud over everything. It's worth pointing out what light is breaking through. NBC News has this poll. Less than half of Americans say they'll get a coronavirus vaccine. It's very tempting to be pessimistic right now. I don't think in modern American history, at least, we have seen such a sudden leap in statism. In the god of government putting St. Corona out front, using it to, to demand and to get a new level of obedience and compliance. Certainly there are historical examples where, hey, all of you of that color are going to do this now or get onto those trains. Yeah, there have been worse examples of sudden leaps in statism. But when we see this today after a period of relative progress and freedom, you have to wonder, is this a long-awaited racket acceleration where we're going to see a, a huge ramp up in the power of the state and, and that what we're experiencing now is just the warm-up? It could be, and there's this fear, right? If we fell for this, and let's be honest, we did. Corona was a giant public IQ test, and most people fail. Maybe not IQ. Uh, think for yourself test. Don't be lied to and taken advantage of test. Yeah, most of us failed. If they've got this new template of tyranny, where, hey, there's a virus, and yeah, it's killing people, but at a rate that's more or less normal that happens sort of with our seasonal flu and the great global human petri dish, maybe not that big a deal. Well, then the next virus, the next bad flu season, the next mutation of the Wuhan Corona Kung Flu is, is well, that could be the one that they use as the excuse to ratchet things up even more. But I am still forever hopeful. And it's mainly because of polls like this. Now, the subtitle here, a majority of Democrats say they would get a government-approved vaccine compared to just 36% of Republicans, according to the NBC News slash SurveyMonkey weekly tracking poll. Less than half of American adults say they would get a government-approved coronavirus vaccine if one becomes widely available, with the majority unsure about getting the vaccine or saying they're ruling it out entirely. 44% of American adults say they would get the vaccine, with 22% saying they wouldn't, and 32% saying they aren't sure. Now, they've got this broken down. If you go to that first graphic in the story, would you get a government-approved coronavirus vaccine? You have three different colored bars. This is a little interesting color choice here. Green, what is that, brown? Green, brown, yellow. So check this out. Check this out. This is this is like I, I guess this is a deliberate, subtle psychological thing here because they want you to associate green positive go with would you get a government approved coronavirus vaccine? So that's yes. And the uh, percent goes up with age. So part of this is because of the nature of the virus itself and this kind of template of fear of propaganda. Right. Anytime they take a virus that is about as deadly as the seasonal flu and and they're trying to overblow the 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 mortality of it uh should i tell my george floyd and hillary clinton jokes yes we're talking about a virus less deadly than trying to spend a counterfeit 20 dollar bill in minneapolis or with a lower mortality rate than testifying against the clintons and uh, uh, I, I must say, I, I am not now, nor have I ever been suicidal anytime I mention that name. Back to the story here, though. They, ha they can't scare young people with something that they can only really convince us kills old people. And it's sort of like, well, everything kills old people. They're about to die. Right? I don't like how 
I'm getting kind of old myself here. Uh, nowhere, nowhere near the like, yeah, about the die range. But you know, if, if you look at even traffic accidents, if you want, like, old people have a higher rate of dying in traffic accidents uh, as a, a, you know, in in the same level of physical trauma, not overall rate, I know. But you know, it, it, because their bodies are more fragile. So anytime they want to scare us about something that they that they that we shouldn't really be scared of, that's going to be a factor here. So. The differences in opinion are stark among demographic groups. The majority of Democrats, seniors, Asians, those making at least $100,000 and those with college degrees, all say would they, they would get a vaccine if it's approved by the government. Now, what does it mean that you make at least, I got I to gotta pull this out of here, at least $100,000. If you're making $100,000 on paper, it doesn't mean you're smart. It doesn't mean you can think of yourself. It means you're good at being a, a cog in the machine. Now, if it's making, you know, a, over a million dollars, I might say, okay, now you're a player. And if it was people making over a million dollars, put some more weight into this. But oh my God, they want you to say, you know, people who are who are educated, those with college degrees. And again, getting a, I have a college degree. It didn't make me smarter. It didn't make me more of a free thinker. No, like what does it mean that you have a college degree? That you're able to sit through classes for four years and, and, and you know, fill out some bubbles and, you know, write some essays. Like it's not, it doesn't mean that you're smarter. If anything, it means that you're more obedient and in some ways dumber. Like on the whole, yes, Americans who have college degrees are smarter than people who don't. But if you were able to tease out the specific dimension of thinking for yourself, that difference would at least be smaller, if not reverse. So in every other demographic group polled in the majority city that they aren't sure whether they would, they would get an approved vaccine or that they wouldn't. Among those making under 50,000, 37% say they would get a vaccine, 26% said they wouldn't, and 35% say they aren't sure. So it's like, if I'm making under $50,000 a year, and, and I am, by the way, I'm not going, geez, the system's treating me really well. I'll bet if they give me a vaccine, it's for my own good. Yeah. So no, those of us who are, are sort of disadvantaged by the system, dare I say downtrodden, are less likely to trust it. Shocking, right? And then People like who is I want to put a name on Ben Kamisar and Melissa Holtzberg have the intellectual arrogance to demean us and say, well, look, you're dumb. You should trust the smart people and go along with the vaccine because going along with the system has done so well for you so far. But increases in income correlate with response level of comfort with the vaccine. Yeah, and the other thing is. If you're if you're rich, you know you have good health care. If something goes wrong with the vaccine, you'll be taken care of. If you're out on the street and you know you've got some, you know, consequence, some some uh, you know adverse reaction to the vaccine itself, you're not going to be as capable of dealing with it. Now this gets back to the Facebook stories we covered earlier today, where Facebook is actually censoring people questioning these vaccines. And when they do that, you go, if you can't win your case without censoring the opposition. I'm going to go, I'm going to err on the side of not letting you inject some random shit in my body that I don't trust. I'll, I'll wait till other people get it. For those making 100000 or above, 55% they would get the vaccine, 18% said they wouldn't, and 26% said they aren't sure. So like all of a sudden, it's about money. Now, to the significant partisan divide among Democrats, Republicans, and Independents, Republicans and those who lean Republican, 31% said they aren't sure, 36% said they would, 33% said they wouldn't. Majority of Democrats and those who lean Democrat, I, I love how they l l lump these in here. They can't say, well, well, if you lean Democrat, we're going to call you a Democrat. If you lean Republican, we're going to call you a Republican. Not independent, not libertarian, not anything else. Not, heaven forbid you think for yourself. You see, you see the problem with this? But there is an interesting reality to tease out here, which is that there is a huge difference. Again, majority of Democrats and those who lean Democrat, 58% say they would get it. On the other side, Republicans and those who lean Republican, 36% said they would. Independents align more closely with the Republican groups. 37% say they and their families would get vaccinated. 25% said they wouldn't. And 38% say they aren't sure. Now, it's really sad to see that the Democrats, American left, have used Corona to set a political trap for Trump. And in order to do so, they have had to spread this fear propaganda among their base. And now Democrats have been greater suckers for the coronavirus racket than Republicans. 
I, I think that's why this is happening this way. Um, I don't think Republicans are more rebellious and Democrats are more obedient. They're they're both equally obedient to their half of the duopoly, the you know, American Socialist Party, the Democrat wing or the Republican wing. So where is it among blacks? All of a sudden, black people aren't smart enough to decide for themselves. And this is the problem because, according to this article, just 24 percent of black adults said they would get a government approved vaccine for themselves and their families, while 31 percent say they wouldn't, and 42% say they're unsure. I think this is an example where the rest of America can learn something from black America. Don't trust the authorities. It's not good for your health. 